Hi everyone, this is Cruiser and what I'm doing is I'm going to be showing you or uh, like a demonstration and a review of the uh, TrackPhone LG420G. Uh, a little bit of background about why I got into one is I've had cell phone service from many different providers over the years and I've always had the situation to where I've always had time left over and I throw them away at the end of the month. The same as throwing money away. You don't like to do that. So, I've gotten into this mode here. I got me a track phone, LG 420G. Uh, it's an entry model, base model phone. And as you can see, it comes up with the uh, display screen. Shows the time, battery power. Uh, if you're on mute, speakerphone, whatever it might be. It comes with a 1.3 megapixel digital camera and right there is the lens. I think you can see it right there. Good little camera. I was reading online and a lot of people were asking the question, how do you transfer the photos or the images to the computer from the camera? This camera does not have memory card capability. It doesn't have it. So what you can do is you can either do it by Bluetooth or you can get a USB cable and that plugs into the side here to where you would plug it in to charge your phone. It's right on the side right here. There we go. Little camera is a little bit right there because of the camera stand. But right there is where the uh, it plugs in right there. You can see right there. And the same thing can be done with the USB cable. That closes up like a dust cover. I'm going to flip it open now and I'm going to readjust my camera stand. There we go. I don't know how clear this is coming out. I apologize. It does not come out clear. But we have right here, okay, as you can see on the display screen, it's uh, your home screen. You can always change that if you want to. It comes up and it gives you the amount of time you have left. Uh, gives you st signal strength and everything else you might need to have. The reason why I'm doing this, okay, is I watched on YouTube where this is going on to, and most of it was done by, by, by kids, young kids, children. And they're moving the camera like this, and they're talking about it like that, and you can't see what the heck's going on. So hopefully this is a little bit better of a perspective for you. I'll put it down like that, and hopefully this will work out to where it's going to come out halfway decently clear. Maybe a little bit fuzzy, I don't know. But as you can see, the soft keys right here and right here, you can plug those for messages. Right here is when you hit, you can go on the internet, turn the camera on. This one right here is the end key. That's how you turn the, the uh, phone on and phone off. And no matter where you're at, you can hit that and it brings you back to the home screen. Make a phone call, hit that part there and you know it goes in. Text messaging, you use your regular keys. This is not the QWERTY board. Q-W-E-R-T-Y. This is the regular one with the tap, 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 the old type phone. But it's effective and if you're looking to economize, like I was, uh, this phone I picked up for ten dollars. Can you believe that? Ten bucks. You go online to different uh, phone providers. I can't mention their names, but they've got the same camera, and you'll pay $120, $130 for it. What's going on with that? All right, let me a little bit of demonstration here. Bring it to the screen there. Menu is this soft key on the upper left. Hit that, and it brings you up to the display right there. And it shows you the prepaid. Next one down is for text messages. Uh, your folder, you can put stuff in there. Tools is where you would go to set up your alarm clock, calendar, notepad, secret notes, all that kind of good stuff like that. The upper right where it says back takes you to the previous screen. You can go online, you can surf the web with this. It's, uh, you use it and it's paid for by your airtime. So you first click it on, I think it's like 30 seconds or 0.5 minutes for so much time 
That's how it works. Still, it's a lot cheaper than going for a data phone. Contacts, you can put up to a thousand contacts in this bad boy. Recent calls is just that. You can see your missed calls, who you called, who called you. Media, get into that, and you where you go for the camera, or it's also like a voice recorder. And down here is your settings key. Now, to change your ringtones is always a question everybody asks, how do I do it? Well, it doesn't show you in the book. Matter of fact, there is no book hardly. So I'll show you. Sound settings, hit the center button for select. You have outdoor, makes it a little bit louder, that's where I got it at. And we hit the upper right key, and it says edit. Hit the edit button one time, and right there you go. You can change it from, you hit the change button, and go to default sounds, center button again, and go through the different tones. I like that one. I like that one. You can do your volume up or down there. This is for your message. Like when you get a text message coming in. I like that one. You can change that to after the message comes in, you don't answer right away. You can go for 10 minutes, one time only. One minute, two minutes, five minutes. I have it on 10 minutes. You can turn on the vibrate alert so that when you get a message coming in, it'll vibrate as well as the tone. So I like that case is in your pocket. And then when you uh, hit your keys, you get the, or the blue, I like that one. Make it louder, make it softer. Flip tone is just that when you open up the flip, you can have uh, different sounds. I'll demonstrate that to you. Open, close. See? Pretty cool. But anywhere you're at in there, hit the red button, your power end button, and it takes you back to the home screen again. All right. Now when you first get your phone, it's going to come disassembled. This back is off, and then there's a battery in there too. Battery is easy to put in. Just put it in, of course, and then put the back on it, and you're good to go. Just like that. But it's a good phone. It is uh, for a basic phone. Where else can you go to get a phone for like $15 or this was on sale to down to $10. 10 bucks for a phone. Not bad. And it comes with 10 minutes airtime already on it. Uh, you pick up the cards and you can buy airtime in 50 minutes, 100 minutes, 200 minutes, whatever you want to do. And there's a special going right now, I think, at this particular time when I bought mine where uh, you buy the track phone, and no matter what you get, it's uh, double the airtime. So if you buy, I bought 200 minutes for $39, it doubled to 400 minutes for $39. And that's not bad. So, good phone. I like it a lot. hope you like it too. Uh, that's a good review, hopefully. Uh, a little bit more information you might have got out of it than uh, uh, some of the other ads right now going on YouTube with, uh, with the young kids just kind of, you know, flipping it around. But uh, hopefully you'll like it. And I'm going to upgrade pretty soon to the new one that just came out, which is, uh, I think it's the 500 series. It looks like a BlackBerry. And that one does have the full uh, QWERTY, uh, Q -W -E -R -T -Y, you know, the full, you know, keyboard that you can just type in there for your text messaging. But there again, to economize and not worry about a monthly bill, no roaming charges, and you don't worry about anything, there you go. So you don't have to worry about those thousand dollar bills anymore. So, if you like it, I hope you do. Let me know. And uh, have a good day. Bye-bye. Cruiser out.